instead. It'll be funny. This is kind of spooky prospects over here. But you know what? You know what? We can build new armies. So let's actually go uh, do that. An extra 20k. Right out nothing. Uh, it's nice being rich and powerful again. You'd probably faster to do this way. <laughs> Bartering increases. I kind of don't care. Yeah. Uh, how is our inflation? It is dripping down slowly. Um, doo -doo -doo. Is there anybody maybe better to be do pushing around here? Uh, morale of armies would be kind of nice. I, hmm. Not quite yet, though. Not quite yet. I do like to build up my military points, after all. And you are military 16. Ooh, too bad. Now, what's your ideas like, anyway? Uh, ba you got quantity and offensive, but not the plus 5 discipline. So, you're going to be uh, hurting a little bit there. Hmm. way has done the thing. Yeah, when uh, Bhutan's out of the uh, picture here, I can be all like, hey, we're going to stream on over into your face. Get up Hans way. Kokajo. Mahasa. Very nice. Arcana's occupied Latka. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, let's bring this guy back for the moment. Twelve... Amazing days. That is the Hong. Let's get uh, Bhutan out of this fight if we can here. Dolly's declared war on Nepal. Nice. Good for them. <laughs> uh, are you fighting Bhutan as well? No, just Nepal. Cool. All right. Um, we're going to take... Nothing, apparently. Uh, would like to take something force out something. I don't know. Maybe we just, um... Military access. Alliance. Dolly. That might be workable. Yeah? Get out of here, Bhutan. Nobody wanted you here anyway. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. So, the time has come to arrange ourselves in a new pattern. Naga. Jungles and various other things. And then we'll move uh, further east. Hooray! <laughs> and Cook Hand. They're going to be having a bad time here, I think. Kara, on the other hand, they got some uh, powerful allies. I don't really care about. That's core, core province. Mamba. Hmm. Well, Bhutan, I think, uh, when we uh, get the opportunity, you should probably get back to working on. Uh, I'm kidding there, but I think you have to high will be here. Hmm. Maybe I won't. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. Had a cough there. Uh, another problem with the water here. It makes my throat all craptastical. That's the technical term for it. Come on, Afghanistan. Bengulu. Hmm. Groovy. So, uh, the southern bit of, uh, is this Sumatra, I think? Yeah. Uh, is now mine to command. So let's look at our tropical wood prospects here. And uh, the places that could potentially pop it out are these kind of places. I think, given that uh, Portuguese people are showing up here, sending a guy here would be an ideal spot so I don't have to deal with Portuguese Australia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was a close call, folks. <laughs> Didn't realize Portuguese Australia was a thing. Hmm. Yeah, let's just sort of skip over the Spice Islands and go that way. <laughs> anywho, anywho. You are starting to develop. Very nice. Uh, Twangu. Well, if you're going to Pegu, we might sweep down that way and uh, punch you in the face. That'd be pretty cool. Um, you don't seem to be doing anything. You can at least occupied Jombi or something. Ugh. 
Brunei is becoming very colonial. That's that's workable. Hmm. Uh, Sweet Ching. Holy Roman Empire has done a thing. Oh, there's the rest of Yata uh, Haya's uh, army. Hmm. How do I want to hit up Hans Wei? Because that is uh, another army we could make sort of vanish. Oh, after all, let's let's uh, get to working on that if we can. We're going about it the, the long way here. We're going to send you there. Hmm. Hong's way. Mong Kwang. Milwar. Hmm. Baltistan. That's okay. Hmm. Persia, how's your army coming? Your army's a little, little beat up right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, do coke hand. We are losing to the Russians. Oh no! Ampers minus fifty percent, or lose fifty ducats. Eh, time for us to step in. And my no, that's Nepal's exile there. It's like, what's going on here? And are you going to Hispa? Guess what? We are too. 10th of May, you say? I'll get there first. Then we'll occupy a signing, and uh, cool stuff will be uh, the, the word of the day. You gotta kinda keep an eye on some things over here. They do got some uh, some strong armies I have to possibly deal with here. Um, shh, we're gonna hold off on that for the moment. Even though it's very tempting to grab it. It's not necessary. That's a point of dime. Twango! Yes. Attack me! Try to destroy me! And fail, Hans Wei! And it's Ning and various other places? Jalalabad. Very nice. Ning, your army's been destroyed. And you are a mountainous sort of place here. Um, hmm. Uh, the campaign goal, uh, first most, uh, is to get the foremost Servitor of Jagannath achievement, which requires me to have all the tropical wood. Uh, secondary goal is, uh, the sun never sets on the Indian Empire. I have, uh, Cape, Canton, and Kishepi already. I'll need to acquire London and form Bharat, uh, or Hindustan, if I wanted to change religions for some reason. Uh, anything else that might happen is, um, you know, sort of a, a, you know, a tertiary goal, as they say. Hmm, yes. And right now, I am fighting the not-quite-a-coalition-war war. war. <laughs> And take a day, because I can now move you over here. Teleport my king! <laughs> my kind of oddly named one here. Uh, you're going to hit me up in Jalalabad. Popular religion. Uh, gain 15 loyalty and influence. Or increase missionary strength with that. Um, I don't really need missionary strength right now, so... I will try to root out the synchronism. Create an army for our nation. Excellent. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> and, well, you're no longer doing the thing, so... Meh. I could try to destroy you. But I would prefer to have more of Persia's army nearby. They are kind of coming into the neighborhood. There is he is uh, occupying the Tamanthi here. Hmm. How am I sitting? How am I faring here? I think I want to do this. How about that? I'll probably, of course, get it before I uh, I land on them, but as I was expected. Ooh. <laughs> but they will not escape. No one can defeat the quad laser. Hmm. Uh, what happened to Korea? I'll show you in just a moment. Korea has had a bit of a bad time. There's not much left of Korea. Uh, Yan has uh, sort of done crazy stuff. They actually got hit up uh, pretty hard early on by Japan, but Japan's been sort of pushed back since then. Uh, they, I think at one point, had a bit of a crazy extent. Yeah, they were all up in here. So, uh, kind of sucks to be them, unfortunately. Poor Korea. Hmm. Ah, cool. Um, Afghanistan. What do I want to do with you? I don't need this province. I'm just going to give it to Persia. 
How about that? Goodbye. Hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, you don't want that. Never mind then. Uh, give these things up. You're not going to have friends anymore. You're also going to give me a bunch of money. And goodbye, Afghanistan. Cool. Um, so let's go this way. Maybe hit up the mountains over here. Um, start talking to Kokan to get them out of the situation. Um, but yeah, the uh, Korea, you know, sort of the the Bond of Vostok and the Shacklin Island and all that fun jazz. Um, I don't have any subjects at the moment. Um, yes. Oh, hello, Vanard. How you doing? Uh, the... Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yes, uh, Kokand is a uh, country that doesn't necessarily show up very often, but uh, it is... Uh, give me a little bit of grief this campaign, but that's fine. Uh, the religion situation. I am very Hindu. I am slowly uh, kicking the Sunnis out of uh, India here. There's also the Sikhs over here, who... Uh, there, we actually were Sikh for a few moments, but uh, we uh, decided to change that. Uh, we are also slowly working our way down as we conquer into Indochina. Uh, it's pretty cool stuff. <laughs> hmm, uh, let's go look at Europe for a few moments, uh, since you guys are kind of curious about uh, various things going on. Uh, Lithuania exists, but is uh, a little on the small side. Uh, Poland is almost gone. Teutonic Order has become a beast. <laughs> Ottomans are doing the Ottoman thing. France has sort of shifted slightly this way. Uh, Portugal has decided to become aggressive and against Spain. Uh, the Livonian Order is perhaps the, the big surprise of this campaign. They have decided to take over uh, Scandinavia. <laughs> Wacky. And Iceland is a thing. Not sure who formed them. If anybody. Hmm. Just not sure. Maybe it was Norway and then Norway got kicked out of Denmark or something. Uh, the 13 colonies are, are big. They might break off from uh, GB at some point. Might want to support their independence. Uh, there's also the Portuguese Colombia. They're doing their thing. And Brazil. Spanish Brazil is pretty big. La Plata and such like that. And we got a few footholds in Africa. We're going to be uh, taking care of those at some point. Yep, the Teutons lived and thrived. It's craziness. And given that they have territory over here, this does kind of imply that they were... Had a connection through there at some point, but they've lost the core since then. Yeah. <laughs> Europe's gone a little crazy. <laughs> and look at that. Hamburg. It's going, uh, going, going all ham here. Hmm. Ethiopia's doing pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> no, we all got our own bit of craziness over here at the moment. Right, we're going to go kill these dudes. Try to get our fort back. And then work on I'll get to Haya. We're actually doing a lot better in this uh, war than I was expecting. This consent has been sown. No. Battle of Mongyang. Well, given that uh, this fort doesn't have much in the way of people there, should be a pretty easy uh, re reclaim on uh, siege in here. And then all this stuff will pop back and then uh, we'll be uh, good to go. <laughs> uh, this could be a little annoying down here. These guys are still recruitants. We are moving up to Kokand. And the Russians, the Russians are sitting on territory up here. Noise. Siege of Hispa is over. Oh, that was amazingly quick. Um, yeah. Well, we got these guys going to poor, so we might want to uh, hang out here until we can uh, kick... <laughs> uh, you know, uh, and, and kick uh, Hans way out of here before... Uh, Things get too crazy here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm really not too worried about the Atahaya's uh, army at this point, uh, just because we out tech them so much. Chinaware. Excellent. <laughs> More legitimacy that we don't necessarily need. Hooray! So my nose is going crazy here. Alright, uh, they are going to be trying to hit us up here. But that's okay. Uh, they're going to get here before we do 5th, 6th, drat. <laughs> We're going to be attacking them. Ouch. <laughs> but, you know, oh well. <laughs> hey, Jambi. Hmm. Now, uh, Kara is actually pretty well teched. 
Yeah, we probably just want to retreat from this at some point. Pooer. Um. Yeah, don't even worry about stuff, Persia. <laughs> Go take care of these guys over here. All right, we're gonna retreat a little bit. All right, so uh, how are things over here? They're running down south. Running down a dream. Get me a wall of breach. Looking for a mystery. Going as far as you see. Running down the dream. Yeah, you're not going to be interested in leaving for a bit. There's, of course, your hand. But I would love to just sort of cut off uh, Bukhar's uh, connection to the... Uh, to the uh, uh, Persia here, and uh, <laughs> sure, they'll probably be able to access through uh, the Russia, but uh, just forcing them to exile would be kind of funny. Bartering increases. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Barter all you like, folks. Barter all you like. I'm going to actually move these guys down here and uh, trump a couple extra mercs on the case. Ah, uh, I should have been paying more attention here. Hmm. Actually, let's speed you up and squeeze. And thankfully, oh, this is not a jungle. But, uh. Hey, Katmandu and various things. Alright, first. We'll, uh, reinvigorate the situation here. <gasps> Nepalese separatists. Drat. <laughs> I could. These guys pop more effectively. Uh, get even more backup over here. Do I want to do that? Or do I think I'm going to win? Hmm. My morality is more impressive than theirs. My ability to shoot guns is also even better. We're going to win, so... Hooray! <laughs> cool. Very cool. I'm trying to do Spain, and the, is the Emperor running at the moment? Oh, yeah. I, I thought about doing that one at some point. Uh, um... Not quite sure what I want to uh, be, I guess, be focusing on there. Let's go see if we can kill those guys here. Because, um, you know, it's, it's easy to do the whole colonial game or modest conquest in your general, uh, general vicinity. Uh, let's go kill these people. <laughs> and Ning is still working on Canton. Don't worry, we'll kick them out at some point, too. <laughs> Running down a dream. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba do do do. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. How are things over here? Running down the dream. Looking for a mystery. I think if uh, Russia just takes a little bit more from them, I'll be able to kick them out. As for Pekara, they're probably not interested for a good long while. Hmm. I could also just end the war right now. But I'd like to maybe hurt my enemies a little bit more. Maybe spread out some of these uh, truces and such. Oh, very nice, very nice. I've always wanted that event, but I never got in it. <laughs> All right, let's go start putting some pressure on uh, Ayata Haya down here. Very nice. Stack wipe. And yeah, let's see if we could hit them up in our capital. Do something similar. Ah, well, I can't always have a, a perfect run on these things. Hmm. I should really think about what military idea I want to take next. My usual go-to one is quality. Uh, whew. Defensive can be pretty awesome too, especially for that yearly tradition. It's rather nice. Oh, well, you also get in quantity here or quality. Artillery combat ab ability, plus five discipline. So nice. Um, so let's go ahead and grab it. I'll start working on that. Uh, Probably not going to be doing any vassal feeding for the time being. Though uh, reducing my aggressive expansion could be useful. <laughs> uh, it's probably not going to be really mattering for a bit. 
Diplomatic ideas would be pretty cool, but I do also like money. Hmm. Getting crazy, crazy, crazy funds uh, to basically let us do whatever we want economy-wise. Not a, not a terrible idea. Not a terrible idea. Plus, I'm getting free mer merchant, uh, merchants all over the place anyway. Huh. Oh, I haven't really played too much with the uh, espionage ideas. Hmm. Some of these are more useful than others. Hmm. Do -do -do. Plus two diplomatic rep reputation. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not really doing much with uh, vassal feeding, so... Diplo with that... That'd be nice. <laughs> Let's go for trade ideas. Why? Why not? <laughs> hmm. I'm so tempted to click that. Um, are you guys ready? You're almost ready. Maybe we'll send you up uh, north. It's kind of a little frustrating doing uh, multiple, uh, multiple uh, directions like this, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Hmm. <laughs> Portugal, colonize all the things. Do it. Do it now. Ooh, we got it. Our truth is shun is over. Maybe they'll coalition us. That could be funny. Oh, yeah, and Hun's way. By the way, Hun's way. I'm tired of you being a thing. So I would like to do away with you. Yeah, I should make Shun more angsty at me, but... Oh, well, if I'm able to juggle my truces properly from here on out, that's okay. Goodbye, Hun's way. Pitiful. <laughs> wham, bam, bamada. Very cool. Uh, well, these are not uh, trade company areas. <laughs> you can make some of these part of the HRE, apparently. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why it even has the button. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> It's because buttons are neat. <laughs> so we'll occupy this. Take these guys down over here. And you guys are ready to get into the fight. Hmm, let's get down to business. Maybe kick Kokan out of here. Hey, we got a um, guy who's going to Jungle Dash here. We should probably retreat a bit. And, uh, meet up with our other dudes here. Yeah. Actually, let's go this way. Cathoir seems like a pretty good spot to be hiding out. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, keep you on the case over here. We're going to see about uh, destroying you. Contains a fully maintained fort. Your morality is insufficient for my ultimate power. Kill them a lot. Chi Tuong. Very cool. And that guy popped right back. It's very good. Let's go reoccupy that. And where are you guys going? You're going to Moltan. Maybe we'll have to go meet you up, Bukhara. Bukhara. Hmm. Not a stack white, but uh, still pretty good. They are now going southwise. Hmm, southwise Gamgees. No. Um. I'm going to split you in half. And uh, can I get away with that? I can. Nice. You lost a trade thing, Majig. That's fine. Uh, we'll try to get this occupied. Get this occupied, and then we'll be able to sort of block in their army down south. Ning will be running around doing their thing. They'll probably uh, try to intervene over here somehow. But that's okay. Um, hmm. We're going to send you with our dude up this way. Hmm. Yeah, well, your war with uh, Russia's over. That's disappointing. <laughs> Baltistan. Hmm. Oh, I guess I could just end the war now. Wait for a war for us another round later. Hmm. Kara, how's your uh, angst with me right now? 
Uh, it's not too bad. If I get uh, at least a five-year truce, you're not going to be interested in coalitioning me. Kokan is going to take a little bit longer, so with the Yarkan most likely. Uh, Bhutan, they're going to pretty much be angsty forever. Ning, uh, ten-year truce with you would be good enough. Shun is probably good as well. I wonder, would it be worth it to do it? Hmm. Maybe. As let's do the lowest war score first. Uh, so though, <laughs> this might be the more sensible thing to do, because I don't necessarily want to be derping around up here. And there's other things for us to do, and just getting these guys on truce would be good enough, I'd have to say. Um, I could also try to do something like that. Hmm. And I don't necessarily want to be derping around here. So, despite my incoming overwhelming success, I am thinking that the smarter move might actually just be to end the war now. You know, it'll leave me in a, a pretty strong uh, position. I'll be able to chain my wars more effectively, so I won't be <laughs> totally devastated the next time I fight these guys. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how far away this is. Nah. Nagur. Mewar. Adoiti! The least desirable of the provinces, perhaps. Ashmer. Guarwar. Can take a couple, couple bucks. Yeah. This ain't bad. Only give me a 16% uh, overextension. The AE won't be terrible. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this, this is over and done with. Let's just end the war. <laughs> Nibble? Whew. That could have gone horrific. <laughs> but it didn't. Hooray! Alright, let's get uh, you guys a uh, cord. Let's get you guys autonomized. Very cool. Uh, and because you guys are super special awesome, we're gonna do the whole Indus train company thing. Oh, with the gold here, maybe it's not going to start as smooth there, but it'll have us not have to deal with the uh, rebel issues as much. Alright, so, truce timers. We got uh, these guys coming up in 91. So we got eight years to basically run around like crazy people and do all sorts of other horrifical things to people. Uh, speaking of, let's go ahead and start building a fresh army over here. Um, so we got a year before we can uh, maybe start making use of that. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get our second claim. <laughs> Despite not necessarily taking out our, uh, our primary target in that war, we did do some uh, good expansion. Uh, took out uh, most of Nepal, Hans Wei is gone. And just basically these guys, this this uh, quadruple alliance of terrible people. Hmm. <laughs> you know, if I wouldn't hit up you know truce issues, I could do something funny with those guys. All right, uh, these guys. Yeah, let's just move them out here. There we go. Hmm. Yes, Africa will be suffering. I need to get claims down with these guys, and these guys, and other cool people. Maybe Pazai as well could be something I nibble on, or maybe I could, uh, go to his vassalize them. They, uh, do have a lot of cores around here. That is something I could do. Hmm. I know, I was just talking about not vassalizing <laughs> things. Oh, because they're, they're the, uh, the Chinese group here. Hmm. I'm going to do this. You can uh, westernize off me if you like. Your tech should allow it. Because uh, we're at like 19s, right? 18, 19, 20. Uh, three. Uh, or, yeah. Four. Yeah. We're, we're, you're, you can westernize if you like, Bazai. If you do, we can uh, vassalize you and then cool stuff could happen. <laughs> Um, we need to start working on stuff with you. Let's build our spy network in Majua Heat. Uh, we also got, um, the Congo to possibly take care of. Oh, speaking of, 
we now know where the tropical wood is here. There's only a couple of spots we need to grab, so the war with them is probably just going to be a single round, all things considered. Uh, they'll probably not like it, but it will be something we do. <laughs> hey, sir, would you like this baby? We don't want it anymore. Can we have the tropical wood? Yes, you may. <laughs> um, is that claim going to go away anytime soon? 93. All right. So if we hit up these guys... Yeah, yeah. All right, well, in the, in the meantime, we're going to go uh, probably eat Hormuz. Uh, corruption's rising up. Maybe we can uh, fix that. We got uh, money going in the positive direction. Reinforcements are eating a big hole in our pocket. Our merchants are being slandered. Uh, the, our naval reformer is dead. Hmm. <laughs> so it could have been a more glorious war, but it's probably just been a... A grind fest, to be honest here. Uh, hmm. What do I want to do here? I might want. Yeah, these guys are too, too uh, full on themselves still. Uh, do do do. Could a minister. Level three diplomat for cheap. I think I'm going to do that. Especially since I have a, a, a Diplo idea I want to be working through here. So it's going to cost me 10 gold a month, which does uh, put me in the hole a bit. But part of that's just reinforcements and... Yeah. <laughs> Hooray! Don't worry, Tahaya. Oh, you're, you're allied with Brunei? Cool. I like that. <laughs> which means I could uh, hit up Brunei and... In a protracted war of some sort. Hmm. So I'd take these guys, what I needed from them, take what I need from them as well, and then <laughs> let this war simmer for a while, and then do the same thing to you guys. Be fine. Hmm. I would perhaps like to have some expansion over here as well. Hmm. Let's build a spy network in Makassa. So these are some pretty high development stuff for being kind of these islands and all that. All right, all right. So next stop should be Hormuz, the Hormuzies. And Sean, you are as happy with us as possible. So let's recall the diplomat. And we are going to prepare for our ultimate death. And you guys kind of ran out on us here, but that's okay. We got these other dudes in the neighborhood. We can make good use of to destroy Hormuz forever. Boink. By the way, do I have an heir yet? I do. And he is of age. Good. <laughs> uh, he is, he's pretty decent. I've had very high uh, admin uh, rulers for a while. I am so happy about that. It means good. It brings good things to life. Right. Tanjore. I might go ahead and uh, pump this at this point. Uh, Amber. Hmm. Cool. Uh, that's over here, right? Yes. The other tropical wood province is now ours. Even though if no one had colonized it, it would be nobody's. Ah! <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave this guy handy-like. Hmm. <laughs> well, you know, you know, uh, my, my, my heir and my current guy are... are or maybe average overall, but uh, you know, having the sixth in admin is kind of useful for my. my, my <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Remember what I mentioned about the water here being terrible. Mm. Mm. Suddenly, my throat explodes. Ugh. Um. But you know, having admin is good for uh, massive conquest, which I've done a lot of, and getting um. Ideas and things like that sorted out. So, uh, Congo 86, you an 87, Bhutan an 89. I could possibly hit up Bhutan on its own. Mm, if they're still, you know, if they're still out of the war, I could possibly hurt them at that point and, uh, help, uh, so, you know, reshuffle some of the uh, truces here. Anyway, Hormaz, I want my scat. 
Stand at odds and declare war. <laughs> Alright, uh, go ahead and put our leader guy dude here. Bring you out here. And we'll go send off a couple of uh, random folks to go sit on Kazim. Kazim, light! And we'll just sort of um, wipe out their army. It'll be fun. Um, I'm going to be more active over in this part of the world. Getting your spy network in a uh, viable position is also a good, good thing. Glorious. And what do you want, Pasai? You have things going on here. All right. Uh, just send you guys up to Muscat. This war is pretty much over already. <laughs> Hormuz, you are not allowed to exist anymore. Your diplomatic reputation might precede you, but uh, it will not keep us from destroying you forever. <laughs> Am I evil, guys? I might be. <laughs> uh, nice. Hmm. So, so shared there with him, talked with, with Brunei. Hmm. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, how I need a thirty to thirty there. Probably uh, get a claim on their capital. Hmm. Just to make it easy to digest. And I am losing money. Ooh. Hmm. Excuse me. Um, agents discover. That's fine. We'll get him back in time. He lost a claim on the province. No, not another one. Guess that also means we could just sort of work on that soon here. Uh, 27th of November. Everyone's getting claims on me. It's not fair, man. Uh, Colonial Ventures. Um, that's the naval force. <laughs> Commander successful, Bakarike. What do you want? Uh, Benkokulu. Very good. Do that. Hmm. And with that, Hormuz no longer exists. Some people might be angry, but it's usual, usual players on all this here. Yeah. <laughs> Take a bunch of money. Give up your cores. Other amazing things. I guess I could also... I don't know, vassalize them or something, but I think that'd be a waste of my time. All things considered. Yeah. Yeah, you have uh, hired Condidarity on that wallet piece. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess I could tell them to go away. And you are... Already my territory, so there we go. And we'll just sort of pick these guys up. I guess I could leave them there as well, but hmm, whatever. Uh, bring you guys back up to Sata. If we're gonna have rebels here, we can just move on over quickly, like. Uh, trade protection against Majapa Heat. Hmm. They tend to li like my trading, but that's all right. That is a okay. Let's get ourselves a glorious idea. It's an infantry combat ability power. Yeah, our amazing armies are now even more amazing. We also got the uh, heritage of the Shad Habas. Traditions tell us that our ancestors sailed to distant shores in Indonesia, China, Persia, and Africa. But today, the seas are dominated by foreigners. We expand our navy to claim our maritime heritage. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Cool. Uh, boo -boo -boo. I guess I could maybe wait on the, those guys to do their thing. Let's send you over. Is there any immediate business I want to be taking care of right now? Hmm. Still got to keep an eye on these things here. I don't know, 89. So I got five years to basically do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> and uh, are you guys uh, existing yet? You're getting there. Kenan Bornu, you might be our next glorious target. Hmm. So getting that out of the way might be good too. Now we need you. 
we need to start dominating West Africa. Yeah. Yo! We don't even need to, like, take all your territory. We just need some of it. Basically, this stuff here. And then we'll have this stuff pretty much not colonizable by anybody. Uh, unless we decide to go after it. Uh, and then we start moving west. To Benin and Mosey and Songhai and things like that. Songhai... Now, we'll probably need to hit up Benin first, so we can get access to Mosey and Songhai. We are Fulu and Kong. Hmm. Guess the uh, rebels decide to go away. Hmm. Alright, well, well, well then. Hmm. Sorry, I keep thinking about stuff here. Alright, let's uh, move forward. Forward march. Conversion successful. Alright, nice. Switching. Li Chao, let's get you rolling. And what, 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 what's, what's going on here? Oh yeah, because we got more overextension. That's fine. And these things will come and go as the time, times demands. I get to hire. Oh, everybody's favorite event. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm going to get a new glass of water here. You guys uh, in the chat, uh, go ahead and suggest uh, which one I should be taking. Uh, we go, do got the whole six options here, after all. I'll be right back. Enlightened times it is. Excellent. I wish I lived in more enlightened times. Like tomorrow. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Don't stop thinking about today. Hmm. I could possibly destroy them. Hmm. Just uh, another bit of territory to add to the pile. But I don't really need to. And, uh, cooling things down here a little bit, uh, might be in my best interest. Though I do need to be uh, destroying these guys pretty well here. I'll probably work my way south first to uh, help things in the north not be so terrible. Hmm. Anyway, let's uh, move forward. Hmm. Spice trade. Hmm. Well, I could just uh, wait until this guy is fully recruited. That might be an option. Take me a little bit to get his dude back. And... 21st of December. The beginning of the year. I think we'll uh, start off our glorious conquest of parts of Ken and Bernou. Yeah. We don't need to destroy them completely. <laughs> they have uh, 12 aggressive expansion on us. Nobody else in the neighborhood cares, though, really. Hmm. Oh, maybe these guys do. As long as I cares. <laughs> Like, we care deeply about Canon Bornu. Uh, reactionaries. You seem to be having issues with the whole westernization process. Hmm. I thought it was a natural scientist that uh, 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 turned the comment event into a, uh, a positive instead. Alright, um, Spain could get involved here. I don't really need them, though. Um, Pindanga. Uh, Pindinga? Yeah. We need it. We stand at odds to declare war. Oh! Now, uh, we are facing a, only a minor threat overall. Uh, Splitches. So, uh, don't necessarily need to be too careful about some of this. This is kind of the first war we could possibly bring Spain in on too, so that's a little weird. Uh, I'm tempted to do that, but no, we need to, need to hold back a little bit. Hmm. Hmm, could also do a mission. Hmm. Concrete Memphrey Magog. No. 
That could be pretty awesome too. Uh, where is this uh, Ongthulim place here? No, I don't really care about that. It is irrelevant. All right, well, Kenembernu. Kenembernu. Robin of Loxley. No. <laughs> that's that's Robin Hood. We're not playing GB right now. Come on. Excellent. Wargol is now mine. Let's uh, occupy some stuff. Go sit on a fort. Um, capital's over here. <laughs> These reactionaries, they might be uh, doing some cool stuff pretty soon here. Uh, let's go to Zazu. Nanu, Nanu. Uh, let's go increase our global trade power to increase our giant piles of money that are coming in. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's uh, spend the Diplo points for it. So uh, let's check, yeah, 69.81 to 72.99. It's a minor increase, but it does add up over time as we do the various things. Uh, let's get back to bothering Ayatahaya here. Bother, bother, bother. <laughs> bother. <laughs> All right, uh, Mawar. Still allied with Bhutan. In Bhutan, you are still allied to Mawar. Hmm. Maybe after we get another claim on Yotahaya, we'll uh, get a claim on Bhutan and just sort of kick things off that way. Hooray, we've finally broken the coalition accidentally. <laughs> it's it's fine. <laughs> Alright, uh, Biram. Biram. Oh, hello, giant enemy uh, rebel stacks um i kind of want to maybe avoid having to deal with you at all if i could so i'd rather you just kind of suffer here uh, doo -doo -doo. so that's why we're gonna go that way and hopefully you don't go anywhere annoying biram let's seek about grabbing this this might Cause them to start moving my general direction, but uh, Zamfran. I'm coming to Zam Francisco. <laughs> West Africa is kind of a mess right now. And you are going to Zazu. That's all right. Uh, you are currently covered in rebel. Riddle scum. So let's go sit on Bornu. And we'll uh, hope for the best here. You are going for Buram. Hmm. Well, we're going to be doing that thing, sort of thing. Uh, we're going to uh, try to tease you up back north again, perhaps. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Welcome to somebody else's rebel management simulator. 2016. <laughs> Castina. Hmm. Let's go around this way. Biram. No, not Biram. I needed that. Our agent is discovered again. <laughs> the agent discoveries. Alright, well, we can still at least fabricate a claim on their capital, so I'm going to do that. It shall be mine. It really should have been mine ages ago, really. A new settlement, yes. Tax it. As a claim on the province, that's fine. We are not looking to be dealing with them for time being anyway. Um, the stuff's still churning along. Munio. Hmm. Let's go for the Dura sisters. Sure, what you're up to. Excellent. We just need to attract them this general direction if we can. So, I don't necessarily need a lot from these guys. They're kind of going the right way. Milwar, Gorwar. <laughs> which is, means not here. Um, when can I bother you again? Hopefully, pretty soon. 25th of November. Again with the Novembers. It's like you have an amazing uh, spy defense ability. Or 
Bornu. Very cool. Um, can I force what I need off you at this point? I can. Might as well take Ife as well. Can Bukhara and things like that. <laughs> How do you guys even... Why do you even care about these guys here? Alright, uh, just to be sure. The tropical wood is only there. So that is the only one we need. Which also means we need to be grabbing this. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so... This will be irking them off completely and totally forever, but uh, that's fine. Uh, Majbahit, Makassar. Alright, we are... Uh, it's been fun, Cannon Bornu, but uh, we never have to fight again unless you do uh, something really aggressive here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we're good. Gulp. <laughs> oh yeah, we still have that condierity. That we get for free! <laughs> uh, excellent. And... Because we're like this, we're going to go ahead and do this. Hmm. Ive is apparently having issues here. Hmm. Because they are already 100% coolness here. Alright, well, we got some uh, big guys here. Let's go... to Birium, and then down here. Because this means that uh, these guys won't have to be bothering us at all. Uh, next up, Fulo. Next up in the neighborhood, we're going to be working on Benin. Uh, meanwhile, we can go ahead and get claims on some of the cool stuff over here. Makassar, I would like a claim on your capital. Majapahit, what do I want off you? Hmm, maybe grabbing this uh, center of trade would be good. Mm-hmm. This your only center of trade, really. And uh, sapping your power in the area could do good things for my ability to dominate trade. So it is this uh, in Kalapa. I wants it. I needs it. And uh, no, it's not a fort either. Hmm. Cool. So if I put a giant stack of armies here, I could possibly uh, raid my way over here pretty quickly. And grab that fort without too much trouble. Uh, Majapahit, Heat, do you have any armies of consequence? Uh, Maj... 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 Uh, there we go. 17k. Not really. So... Truces, truces. 87, 89. And then the 91 stuff. So I should probably... Get on the stuff pretty quickly here. Um, we got the sirens rolling here. Be real right back. And that's one of the downsides of having a window open while I'm uh, <laughs> busy living near uh, like a fire department or something like that. All right. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Malwa. Hmm. Punjabis. They're likely to rise up. Saganing might as well. Delians. Guitar clappy in that sort of places. Just because my overextension is pretty high right now. And it's going to be high for a while yet. But I'm not seeing too much as far as that stuff goes. So, uh, let's go send our delicious boat people over here uh, and we got a merc too many in this stack here and a merc too many in this stack as well and as for you guys also a merc too many actually do let's go ahead and drop them hmm cool and our manpower is increasing and it's off its maximum weird hmm. All right, uh, still waiting, to, <laughs> still urging our way towards that idea, but uh, yeah, this is okay for the moment. <laughs> We're not uh, aiming to get the next uh, admin efficiency quite yet. Soon, but not quite yet. Brrrr. Brrrr. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
Let's cancel the condier condierity. I can't pronounce that word to save my life, apparently. Hmm. Embargoing these people. Maybe I should embargo Russia. Hey, Russia. You're my, uh, you're my rival. Right? Yeah. So let's go talk to your face and be all like, guess what? You're not allowed to have our, our trade anymore. <laughs> Did declare war on me right away. <laughs> it's like, damn it. <laughs> hmm, Song Eyes declared war on Kenan Bornu. Very cool. Um, go ahead and beat them up. I don't care. Um, yeah, Benin looks like the uh, more important target in this area. Uh, hmm. Yes. So uh, we'll put uh, 40k down south. Now, the, the amazing thing about these guys is that they happen to be Hindu, which is pretty cool. Uh, uh, just putting our guys up here for a moment until it's time to uh, roll in the place and then roll on them. I think that's a, a good option. Rebels, reactionaries, madness. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, I think I got enough uh, random armies sitting around here to deal with rebels. Uh, that might be popping up uh, the general uh, northerly uh, primary bits of our territory. Uh, Malwa. Uh, let's get a claim, if we can, on Bhutan. Covert your actions, man. Just need to make sure that when that 91 rolls around, then I am getting into some deadly action. Because uh, I would like to be able to, uh, to destroy your tires, uh Southern base to support, if possible. Hmm. It's like, I drink the water, it's clear. It's like, I feel like there's grit in my mouth now. Hmm. Ah, naval simulation in this place. Cool. Bring it. Bring it on. Hmm. We don't necessarily need to uh, acquire too much of these guys. Because they are affected... Uh, well, after I get the next level of admin efficiency, they're going to be a two-war job. So I should probably grab a fair bit of them, but I don't need all their territory. I just need enough to uh, convince them to... Uh, or heck, I could just target the Tropical Wood Province, to be honest. <laughs> uh, which would be this stuff here and this island, and then I would never necessarily have to fight them again. Probably will, but uh, it's, it's just not necessary. And then uh, there's also Brunei. Sulu! You're talking to Sulu! Which I can't get a claim on. Hmm. Sadness. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> hmm. Threaten war! Hmm. Such a demand from Yao. Cool. Because <laughs> they... They're having some real troubles here. Oh, more sirens. Gosh. Hmm. The sirens, they call to us. Hmm. So uh, this port is actually in the delta here. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to mute myself again for a moment. I think the sirens are mostly going away. Hooray! Muscat. Cool. Uh, I didn't cut this stuff yet, but uh, it's kind of amazing how this kind of all kind of piles up here. Uh, <laughs> Lots of tiny little itty bitty provinces. That will probably never make a state. Hooray! <laughs> She's discovered an agent. Lost to claim on Madanda. Madanan. Madanananananan. <laughs> Ah, uh, so far. Hmm, do I do this? Do I do this? <sighs> Not until after this war. And, uh, our boats are coming, right? Now, I could wait around to get another claim on them, but that might not be the, the, the best option here. 31st, things like that. Go ahead and move our guy dude person over here. 
this guy out and abouts so he can go crush their fleet as soon as possible. Bhutan, come back to me. And choose the Congo's over. Uh, lost a trade protection against them. Well, it's already too late, man. You see, we stand at odds. Sorry, I was, uh, sorry, I was, sorry, I said something here. All right, so we stand at odds. I declare war. Huh? So I. Oh, uh, enemy fleet. Where is the enemy fleet? Li Chao. So, uh, okay, <laughs> we can now go over here. Uh, 